Hey guys, welcome to Motor Beam. Today I have Riti Nagishi with me. She is the business head for Mahindra Electric. Thank you so much, Riti, for Thank joining us so today much. on the launch of the XEV9S. Yep. Let's start off with the car that you launched yesterday mm -hmm. first, the Formula E edition of the B6. What was the idea behind that? What was the inspiration? What do you like the most about that car? So B6 is a car, of course. You know how it looks. It's a, as I said, not a car. It's a vibe. It's a blank canvas. Uh, even before we came up with ideas, our yeah. customers were calling that as Batmobile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I guess that's what we picked up, the customer insight, mm -hmm. and thought, why not? And started discussion with Warner Bros and all. Yeah, yeah. And then um, we don't like to do some basic wraparound stuff. Right. You know, with B6, it's so expressive as a brand itself. Um, you know, it becomes the very avatar. Hmm. I don't think any brand, any electric can pick that personality, can carry that personality. Yeah. So the next one, we were just thinking, how do we make it a uh, little more aggressive and nice and yeah. racy? And another insight was that it looks like a sports car. Yeah. Uh, if you look at our customer base too, I mean, so many luxury sports car enthusiasts mm -hmm. uh, have bought the B6. Okay. Today we have, uh, for between the two, 90 and uh, the B6, yeah. we have 80% of uh, customers which are completely new to Mahindra brand. Mm -hmm. They've never ever bought or considered yeah. earlier. And that's because this is like a completely new age yeah. uh, vehicles yeah. uh, with, with features that yeah. come in, you know, one CR plus priced cars. Yeah, yeah. So coming back to the sports car insight, yeah, yeah. Um, we thought, why not? We have been in Formula E since season one. We are the Very founding good. members uh, and we've been winning it. So hmm. that's where that idea came from. Got it. So now tell me one thing, the B6 already has a very sporty vibe to it, you know, the regular one also, the customers that it attracts are very youthful, someone who wants something which is not very yeah. mainstream, I would say. Even so, the cockpit. Exactly, the cockpit right, feel, yeah. the sporty design. So how do you think the customers will be different for the Formula E edition versus the regular B6? Oh, so as I said, B6 is a very, you know, individual driven kind mm -hmm. of a car and open canvas and people try their own stuff. In fact, I've seen Pratap uh, even loving some of the things that customers are doing. As yeah, a designer, yeah. you're very much, you know, mm. what I do, but he loves what others are picking yeah, up, yeah. yellows and whatnot. Um, so B6 lends that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if people don't want something which is race car, they can yeah. buy that. If someone wants Batman, they can buy that. Of course, that was limited. Is this is out, not yeah. limited. But yeah, I, there are different kind of options, choices that you get. Mm -hmm. uh, race car is another group and yeah. a growing group. We are seeing yeah. Formula Racing picking up in India a lot. Got it, got it. Again, as an insight, uh, we have the Netflix series. We have yeah. the... Brad Pitt's F1 movie, so mm -hmm. it's picked up a lot and uh, that is another set of TG that will love it. Great, great. Now moving on to the XCV9S, the car that you have launched today, the pricing is spot on, quite value for money for the kind of features that you are offering, even from the base variant, the pack one above variant, yeah. and you are targeting a lot of competitor cars right there. So tell me, what are the top 5 features according to you on the 9S, something that really stands out? Yeah, so of course, this is India's first authentic seven-seater pure electric right. and we have spoken a lot about big, big, big. So yeah. the first standout thing is it is big. Yeah. Uh, it's big on cabin space. It's the number one standout mm. feature, I would say. Uh, it gives you that complete sweet life and sweet life too. <laughs> <laughs> so pun intended. And um, with that, you have, of course, the sliding second row. Mm -hmm. So if there are, you know, kids sitting on the yeah. third row, yeah. they don't have to crunch. They can slide the seats accordingly. And if you have more luggage again, you can slide accordingly. For whatever reasons, if you're just alone in the second seater like a boss, you completely go full <laughs> recline mode. Yeah. So that's uh, the second one. Uh, the third is the boot space. Mm. And we are not going low on that too. It's yeah, again the best uh, 150 liters frunk. Mm -hmm. It's all possible because of this being pure electric. This is not 
a compromised ice converted electric this is pure in go in low platform you know uh, provides this kind of space mm -hmm. and because of that we also are able to fit 79 kilowatt hour of battery yeah. so again giving you 500 plus range and it is loaded with features 16 speakers and there's enough and more i, I don't know what all yeah. <laughs> no, yeah the car is quite loaded now i'm looking forward to driving it now tell me one thing now mahindra is launching the vegas globally also in australia i think the suvs are making a big mark any plan to launch these evs over there in the global markets yeah sure and on your point of drive and i would like to add sorry i can't control yeah, uh, it is one of the best on ride quality yeah yeah it mm. is the best on nvh and ride quality so very super proud uh, we'll do amazing if we go outside India as well. Mm. But we have laid out a proper plan. Uh, we first target the domestic market. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nal spoke about it. Mm. Uh, we have above 20 lakhs and above 4 meter, uh, 70,000 a month kind of a Correct. market. Correct. And uh, today, just 30% of it is core SUV. So we have a huge play out there. Yeah. So first we target domestic, then we have plans for UK market. We have said an RHD markets and okay. then we move to other LHD markets. Correct, correct. So now I'll ask you something fun. Out of all the EVs in your portfolio, which one would you actually buy for yourself and why? Which is your you absolute know, favorite? I've been waiting for the 9S. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why right now I'm in my 300, the first car I yeah, bought when yeah. I joined Mahindra. Yeah. Uh, I've been waiting for this one because I really feel that if you got this, you don't need anything else. <laughs> it actually covers up almost everything. It has it space, has everything, power, everything, range, everything. Yeah. If you had to take your own 9S for a long drive across India, which is the best road that you would take it for a driver? Whoa. I think uh, I would love to go to Gujarat. I'm yeah. a Guju, so <laughs> why <Same> not? <laughs> Yeah, so Gujarat has some nice snacks over there. Yep, the great food. Papra, Gatia, <laughs> Dokla. So yeah, I would drive to. I'm from uh, initially. I was at Baroda, and yeah. love to drive to Baroda. There's nice roads now. There are enough charging stations. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, amazing, amazing. It was great interacting with you, Riti. Thank you so much. Thank you so I'm much. Looking forward to driving the car now. Glad, glad. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.